of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor seated in the seat of discomfort but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law does he meditate day and night and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruits in his season. His leave also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. 
the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, for the way of the ungodly shall perish. Dayo, you are a child of destiny. You are a child of purpose. You must always remember this. You are 17 now, and necessary. At this stage of yours, the devil will always bring all sorts of temptations and obstructions to hinder you from reaching your goal and obtaining your sources. He may even bring bad friends to corrupt you. But you must always remember that you are a set-apart child of God, okay? Okay. Okay. I've had you, Mom. Mommy, can I go to school now? And um, another thing you must always remember is this. Do not copy the ways and patterns of this world. Remember Moses. He refused to follow the way of Egyptians, although he had several chances and opportunities to do so. Always remember that you have upon your forehead the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mom? Yes? They will start gaining late commas as from today. I know. But this one is far more important. Have you understood all I've told you? Yes, Mom. I've had you. Mommy, can I leave now? Yes, but um, have you packed all your books? Yes, of course. We can go and call the rest. Let's go. Yeah. Tulu, mom is ready, let's go. Blessed is the man, blessed is the man, blessed is the man who walks in the way of the Lord. Blessed is the man, blessed is the man, blessed is the man who obeys the Lord. Forget all I've told you, okay? Yes, ma'am. Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. I was yesterday Good and the night prepare fully for the work of today. God bless you.
T-Foot Harrier! T-Foot Harrier! What's up? I'm good. How are you now? Shut up! Shut up, Mr. Bill! It is my business. I'm even working on your wife. It is my business. You are a fool. Shut up. Shut up, Mrs. Who are those? Well, they. They are. Felix, they are your parents. I'm warning you. Leave me alone. You are going nowhere. Don't try me. You are going nowhere. Look, I am warning you. Listen. Look, you better mind your own business. Don't poke your nose in my personal affairs. <laughs> Otherwise, you will know what it is for a man to be Hey, Have you forgotten your husband and wife? You, your business is my business. Your life is my life. Tell me, why did you bring in a prostitute? Even it's our house. I am not keeping quiet. I am not keeping quiet. I will see you in the school tomorrow. You are going nowhere. Look, can't you use your senses? Eh? Give me my key. I told you she is not a prostitute. Hey. She just <laughs> sisters. I, that's all. I can see that it is. No. She's a friend. Dad! Uh, look, Felix, keep out of this. You mm. cannot understand what is happening. Understand? <laughs> Can you see? Can you see your immoral implication on your son? Can you see? You are a disgrace. Look, I tell you. Yabo, I am warning you. A big thing. I will deal with you. Nonsense. That is, you will do nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, you are... What you saw yesterday was one of those regular and normal events that take place in our house almost every day. But why, Felix? I don't know. But why ask him? What as you are for me? Life must go on. Life must go on, Felix? Yes! I'm very sorry. In fact, I'm sorry for asking this question. But why will your father bring in a prostitute? Boy, why do you ask me that kind of question? My father is a man. And he does whatever he likes. At any time he likes it. But as you know, I don't give a damn about what my father and my mother does. Because life must go on. Life must go on? Look at that guy. Over righteous. I think he's coming to our side. I just ate the guy. Why? He behaved too righteous. <laughs> Felix. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Have you guys did you see what you got in biology? What did I get? You got 30, 35 out of 40. I got 30 out of 40. And Felix. Felix, you got 5 out of 40. Do you have to blow the trumpet? Crazy! I, I'm sorry, but you tried. Come, people really failed. Come, I saw sort of terrible marks. 0 out of 40. 2 out of 40. Uh, you tried now. Tayo, what's up with the party? What are you going to wear? I don't know. I don't think I'm going. I don't go to night parties. <laughs> uh, what, what part are you guys talking about again? Why don't you even mind your business, Mr. Bo Righteous? But, but I'll just ask him. It is none of your business. So keep shot and get off. Tayo, see you later. Tayo, Tayo, Tayo. Don't move with that boy. I'm suspecting him. He will corrupt you. Get off your handle. Blessed is the man who walks in the way of the Lord. at all. Tell this to me. Listen to the word of God. You are making the greatest mistake of your life, Tayo. Here, come. Tayo! Listen to me. Come. Come, Tayo, please. Don't go that way. 
Tayo, come. Tayo, please, come. Don't go that way. Come back, Tayo. Tayo! Come, Tayo. Tayo! 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 No one seems to care about me in school. No one can even notice me. Just because I've decided to follow the Lord, the world began to see me as an over-righteous boy. God, my Lord Jesus Christ, I need you to help me. Things are getting bad in school. I don't, I don't even have a friend. And I don't want to live my life anyhow. My parents always tell me I have a future. Do not follow the examples of the sinners or join those who have no use for God. You see, Tope, God has his special plans and purpose for your life. And to make this plan and purpose come to pass depends on you. Tope? Yes, sir. It is just laid in my heart to tell you this. Be careful of the friends you keep in school. Bad association can destroy your boy's destiny. Don't allow the plans and the purpose of God for your life to be destroyed. Instead of God to change his purpose and plans, he will rather change a man. So, you must remain faithful to God. Right? Yes, sir. But God, how can I live right for you? I try to be focused on you, but, but I don't know how. Teach me your ways, O oh Lord. Mom, are you not sleeping? This is half past two. Yes, I know. But I need to see you now. <sighs> but mom, can't we postpone this? No need for procrastination, Tayo. I must see you now. Now? Yes, now. <sighs> There's no need for procrastination. Okay. Mom, what is it? Dayo, I had a terrible dream about you. In that dream, I saw you moving with some dangerously terrible looking boys. They were all in blacks. And they looked so terrible. And I called your name, but you refused to listen to me. So? And finally you... You refuse to follow me. You've made up your mind to follow these people. Mom, this dream is not as scary or terrifying as the way you depict it. But there's only one interpretation the Lord showed me. And that was? <sighs> that you. Who are your friends? My friends, this is a ridiculous question.
Felix. What's in the shelly? Oh boy. How you saying I won't see me? What's in the apple now? Something they happen. Something they happen. Tiger, are you guys not going for any operation tonight? That is why we are patiently waiting for your coming. My coming? Yes. Felix, none of the boys can lead again. Ask me why. But why? Our eyes have seen enough. Scorpion attempted to lead the other time. He was shot by the police. And the house we are operating is heavily guarded with policemen. We cannot risk our lives again. How does this concern me? Felix, you will have to lead us. Me? Are you guys atlas? How do you expect me to do that kind of dangerous operation? All right, Felix. There you get someone to lead us. Damn. Who on earth do you expect to do such a nasty job? You. Or you get someone else for us. Don't mess up with us, Felix. <laughs> Boys, the operation is postponed till Tuesday night. Let us go. Come and see this person. She's very special. I know. But Felix, I'm a bit busy here. You know I'm a class captain and I have a lot of duties and responsibilities. Tayo, forget about your duties and responsibilities. This person is very special. I mean, you will like her. You will like her. It's here again. Here you go. Yes, it's a girl. Come on, let's go. So, Tayo, I want you to meet one of my old friends. Her name is Nikki. Nikki, I want you to meet Tayo. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Nikki. So, which school do you attend? Um, I attend Command. Command? I know that school. My cousin goes to that school. Really? Since the tape has begun to roll, I think I should leave you guys. Alright. Thank you. Sayo! Sayo! What is it? Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Nikki, meet my friend, Tokwe. Hi, what's up? I'm fine. Um, excuse us. All right. Tayo, you are the most brilliant person I've ever met. You got the highest in mathematics. You got 47 out of 50, but I got 45. Tope, is that all? Is that what you want to tell me? Is that why you have to pull me away from my guest? Tayo, I must warn you. The road you are moving has a destructive end. You sound too holy, I know. But your mother, I'm sure she will not even want this for you. Then. That is my problem, not yours. Oh, you think everybody's like you? Eh? Oh, you think everybody's as righteous and holy as you are? No, 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 no. Come on. Every youth has the right to enjoy life. 
And if you think otherwise, then you can go and face your problems yourself. And stop trying to impose your self-righteousness on me, on someone else. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who walks in the way of the Lord. So all along, I was a big fool. What, what makes it different from my mates? You see, Daddy, God has his special plans and purpose for your life. And to make this plan and purpose come to pass depends on you. But for goodness sake, I am a youth. Other youths are having fun with their life, so what makes me so different? Come on. No. Every youth has the right to enjoy life. Every youth has the right to enjoy life. Don't play, I'm back. Welcome, sir. Don't play. you look so unhappy. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Nothing. Top it. Now listen. The old family is going into fast and prayer tomorrow. And that includes you. I felt it this morning when I was praying. All right? All right, sir.
so, baby? All the under ten. Can I have some money from you? I really, really need some money. Then, like, how much do you need? Can I have 5,000 at home? <clears throat> Too much? No, not at all. Don't you think that amount is too small? What about 7,000 naira? Really? Can you really give me 7,000 naira? Yes, of course. Is it for real? For real. Are you sure for it's for real? For real. Nikki! Oh, you're welcome. Wow, Evelyn! Excuse me a minute, I'm coming, eh? That's all right. How are you doing? Good to see you again. You're not looking bad yourself. Good to see you again. Hey, hey. Will I get 7,000 now? Yeah, Tyro. Meet my old friend, Evelyn. Evelyn, meet Tyro. Nice meeting you. I heard you guys are planning a party. So what about the party? Oh, can I follow you guys? What? As in, can I follow you guys? I, I thought... I, I thought... You thought I was too holy? Exactly. And we do not want anybody who will implicate us. I won't implicate you guys. And being holy doesn't mean you shouldn't be social. Exactly. And do you have money? Yeah, right. Like, um, how much? Just pay 3,000 naira to Felix. Felix? I'm coming. Yeah. But fire, we see talk more. Talk boy. Go up, sir. Come on. Me? Come I need to talk to you. Sit down. Uh, me? <laughs> yeah? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you are thinking. You are thinking that it is an abomination for you to sit beside the gate man. Of all people, a gate man. Humble yourself, my son. And listen to the wise words of an old man. Ever since you have been in this school, I have been looking at you and studying you. I want to tell you that your polite way of behaving is quite different from other students. You see, if you think nobody is looking at you or that nobody is studying you or nobody cares about you <laughs> hey my son i have been studying you very very well and i want to say at this point that i am proud of you thanks sir but recently i am not impressed about what is happening Azar, sir, I don't... I don't understand. As old as I am, sitting here alone, I get more than enough information about things around here. But I'm sad to say that you are giving up so easily. <laughs> Me? Hmm. Blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, 
nor seated in the seat of the scornful. I will bless him that put his trust in me. He, he is like a tree growing by the stream and sending out its roots to the waters. But God says, I will condemn the person who turns away from me and put his trust in man. He is like a bush in the desert, growing in the wilderness, on a salty ground where nothing else grows. Tokwe, I once made the mistake you are about to make. I used to be a brilliant fellow in the secondary school. The Lord had special plan and purpose for my life. But I blew them away in the university. The devil brought bad friends to my life to corrupt my life. And because I was made to believe that since I was no longer under the shelter of my parents, I began to follow the evil advice of my evil friends, which led me away from the shelter of God. Consequently, bringing the attacks of the devil upon my life, I enjoyed the influence for a very short time, but I suffered the consequences for a long time. God's plans and purposes for my life was not to be a good man, but I completely blew them off. For God's plan and purposes to come to pass in your life depends on you. Love the Lord with all your strength and with all your might and with all your heart. <laughs> hey, you don't need those people. They will blow your dreams off. They will lead you astray and get you to destruction. Go on with your life. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who walks in the way of the Lord. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who obeys oh, the Lord. I'm sorry for the attempt to backslide. I'm sorry for the attempt to give up easily. And I thank you because of your love and grace. Lord Jesus. Forgive me for allowing myself to be distracted by the youthful lust. Forgive me for the terrible things I've done. I come to you. Please receive me back. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Resist. Flee from the youthful lust. Thank you, Lord. It shall be possible. We thank you for your forgiveness. He will help you out. Oh. Please, Felice, I'm begging you just this one. Please. What? Are you crazy? 
How the hell do you want me to get that kind of money? 10,000 naira? It is not for me. It is for Nike. She needs it. Then, go. Get it somewhere else. Okay. 9,000 naira. Is something wrong with you? 8,000 naira. Are you thinking straight? Seven. I don't have that kind of money to spare. You introduced me to the girl. So your plan now is to disgrace me. Come on, fellas. Only 7,000 Naira. I thought you want 10,000. No problem. I will find a way of getting the remaining 3,000 Naira. You will get 10,000 Naira. Oh, Feliz. Feliz. You are so sweet. In fact, on one condition. What is it? There's a special VG in his church now. Imam came from Portaco to pray for all students. Please, can I go? VG for students? Yes, Mom. It is starting by 10.30 tonight. Please, can I go? That's a simple answer. You can't go. But it is important. But you can't go. How can I ever believe you are going to Daviji to pray when you spent all your time sleeping deeply here without two praying together with us? But I was praying. Yeah. So I was the one sleeping. Hmm? How can I ever believe you are not going to Daviji to, to, to sleep? Mom, I'm telling you, I won't sleep. Son, you can't go. Go upstairs now and sleep. Go. wrong with you? Come on, my dear. I have told you I have a lot of work to do here. Hmm? I won't be back in Lagos until after the next two weeks. Two weeks times again? Ah, but I can't stand it any longer. Uh -uh. Eh? You have just sit down there in Abuja eh? for the past two years. You only come home once in a month. Ah, I can't stand this. You just have to come home. This children needs you. My dear, 
Cool down. I have told you I am working my transfer back home. The chairman has promised to effect my transfer. And guess what, my dear? This time it's going to be with another promotion. Hmm? I don't care about any promotion. Okay. We need you. These children need you. You just have to come home and do something about it. Ah, ah. Going. Where are you coming from? I said, where are you coming from by this time of the night? Yabo, is something eating your brain? Or are they fighting third world war on your head? Huh? What sort of question are you asking? The same question I've asked you over and over again. I said, where are you coming from? It's 11 o'clock in the night. I deserve an answer. No, you do not deserve any answer, my dear. Mm -hmm. Unless you ask me politely. Okay, <laughs> sweet Tony, where else have you been doing outside till this late? <laughs> mm, well, actually, I went to see <clears throat> Chief Laulu. Eh? And I've been in his house. Chief Laulu? <laughs> <laughs> Liar! That is what you are. Big fool! A good for nothing husband. It's all lies. You were never in Chief Laulu's house. It's all lies. Ah. <clears throat> anyway, Rosalie called this evening, oh. She called. Hey. Yamo, and what did she say? Why do you want to know what she said? Because I need to know what she said. What did she say? I am not going to say anything. Why do you want to know what she said? You have a wife at all. A son in the house that you never cared about. All you cared about are those stupid prostitutes you keep outside your home. And you hear standing asking me what she said. Keep asking. Now, Yamo, stop all this foolish nonsense. Eh? and tell me what Rosalind said. Now, I give you three seconds to tell me what she said. I also give you three seconds to do your worst, okay? One. You never love your son? Two. Did you show him care? You never did. All you showed care to are the prostitutes you keep outside your homes. You are three. understanding. Excuse me. Don't you have a family? Is this the way they treated you? Eh? Yabo. Just tell me, is this the way you were treated? Yabo. Tell me! You better stop this nonsense. Stop what? Yabo. You better stop this. I am not going to stop. I won't stop until you tell me where you're coming from. I am not stopping. Yabo. You look. You. You listen. Give me your. Is this the worst? All this nonsense. I hate you. Son of a bastard. <laughs> I will not kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. I hate you. You are son of a bitch. You are a bastard. I hate you. You, I hate you, sir. You scared me. You will kill yourself. You will kill yourself. You will kill me today. I hate you. You are the greatest son of a bitch.
Get in the car. Felix, where are we going? Do you want the money? Don't you? Yes, I do. Then get in the car. But don't question me. Then get in the car. Nothing to be scared of. Just be yourself. But where are we going? Inside. What are we going to do inside an uncompleted building? find out very soon. Very soon? Do you know how scared I am? I'm not entering that video with you, all right? If not, you need your life. What? Jesus Christ. How do you mean? If you really want to go back, you can. <laughs> but I doubt it. If you will know the way. Okay, Felice. Promise if I if I go with you, I will be safe. I promise. Let's move. Felix, you have wasted our time. And you know time is not on our side. Oh, big guys. Make no vessel. You know to get a person to do this kind of job is not an easy thing. <sighs> is this the boy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. <sighs> boy. Are you aware of what you are getting yourself into? Uh, no. I don't know. Uh, he hasn't. I've not really explained to him. I'm sure you should have a slight knowledge about what we are going to do. Boy, we are going to pay you 20,000 Naira. For? You will lead us into a house tonight for an operation. Hey! Oh. I don't know the house you are talking about. Hey. <laughs> you do not get our points. We will take you to the house. But you will lead us in. Ah! 
Fellis! 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 No party. No party. It is an easy job. I don't want the money. And we can keep the money. Ah. Ah. A lot of people have crossed our path and found themselves dead. You have crossed our path and you cannot escape. Any endeavor to do so, you have yourself with this. So, it's a matter of life and death. Understand? Can't you talk? Understand. Good. Now, move. Sorry to disturb your peace, Honorable. Please, please, please don't harm us. Harm you? Not at all, Honorable. You are in safe hands. We come in peace as long as you cooperate with us. What can I do for you? <laughs> all I need from you is the 2.5 miller you collected from the bank today. Come on, check that out. Yes, sir. Ayo! Ayo! 
Reject my advice. Tayo, God loves you. He loves you so much. And he has a great plan for you. He wanted you to use your gift to affect nations. But to blew it up. He blew it up, Tayo. No. Please. Don't beg me. Don't need to beg me. Just go and amend your way. Go and make straight your path. Oh, don't go and make me. Blessed is the man who walks in the way of the Lord. What are you doing here? Felix, Felix, in this condition you are, I think, I think you should just rest. How, is, how are you feeling? I'm fine. How did you get here? How I got here doesn't matter, except for the divine intervention of God. Tayo, will he ever forgive me? I betrayed him and I deserve to die. What I did to Tayo is wickedness. I'm not forgivable. Don't blame yourself, Felix. Felix, don't blame yourself for the wicked and the terrible things you've done in the past. We all deserve to die. We all deserve to be punished. Patients are coming when they come. Attend to them, let them see the Okay, okay. thank you. Yes, ma. Yes, this, uh, I think I have to go now. Uh, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Martins. Martins, dig me. Uh, my son was brought here about two days ago. What is his name? Uh, uh, Felix Degbemo. Felix? Uh, excuse me, doctor. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am Mr. Martins Degbemo. My son was brought here about two days ago. He had a fatal accident. Oh, yes. Felix is his name. Oh, oh, oh. You are actually the parents of the boy, yes. I suppose? Yes, yes, yes. We are the yes, parents. Sir. But what kept you from coming earlier? Uh, we well, actually, you see... Uh, I had to travel to Abuja and do a few runs, business, business, and you know. Uh, anyway. Business? Yes, yes, yes. Business should not be your number one priority. 
The fact now is that your son's life is in danger. Hey. And he needs you to stay around him. But oh. it's like you abandon him for us. Sir. Can we see him, please? Can we see him, please? I hope he's not badly injured, sir. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Hey. I have lived a rough, terrible and regrettable life since I came to this world. I cannot remember a time I was shown love. I don't blame anybody in this world except two people. Come, who are those? Get out! Get out! What? Oh. I don't want to see you! I hate you! Get out! I hate you! What has happened to Mr. you? Mr. Martin, Get out! Mr. Martin, please leave. Please, eh? You can leave now. Eh? You can see. It's not in the mood to see you. I can't please. understand. Uh, please, 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 excuse us. Eh? <sighs> They are gone, they are gone, eh? They are gone. Hmm? They are gone. Sorry, sorry. Are you okay now? Hmm? I never want to see them again. Yes, yes, I know. They are gone now. You will not see them, eh? You will not see them. They are gone. Friends, are you alright now? They've wasted my life. I'm sorry for acting that way. I understand. No, you don't. No. They cost it all. They've made me what I am. I never wanted to be a bad boy. I never wanted to follow bad guys. I tried to think well. But what did you expect from a boy like me? Whose parents never had a time of peace with themselves. Mr. Martins. You cannot force peace into your family. A life without Jesus is full of wars, worries, anxiety, and problems. But Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He will send peace into your home. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, became our Redeemer and a man that he might be our kinsman and set us free from the powers of sin. Sin drags us down into a deep, deep cavern unless we have someone to save us. We will all perish. When I found myself in, in the darkness of sin, I cried. And God sent someone to help me. Who did God send to set us free? His name is Jesus, the Savior, the great deliverer. Not only will he take up your troubles, he also came down into the cave and put his arms around me and brought me out of the darkness of sin into the light of God's love. Oh, oh. oh my parents. They led me to this. Oh, oh my God. I know. But what else can you do? The mistake has already been made. 
only Jesus can make the impossible possible. The only person that is causing all the problems in my life, that I really blame for the problems in my life, is the person sitting by my side. What? You better blame yourself. Don't try to shift the blame. It's all your fault and you know it. Please, blame yourself. Keep quiet. Keep quiet indeed. Hey, hey. What do you gain when you finish blaming yourselves? Hmm? Can I ask you a question? What were you doing around 2 a.m. on the very day your son left the house? Uh, actually, I... I was... Um, I think I, I was uh, actually uh, Yabo. You call him Yabo? Doctor, I was. Um, I, I, I was, was actually doing some business. Mr. Martins, you don't need to form lies. Hmm? You don't need to form lies. You were both on a terrible battleground that you did not know when your son left the house. Is that not so? Are you surprised? Felix told me everything that happened. Hmm? And as a matter of fact, the boy is too young to face all these problems of life alone. Whatever happened to him, you both caused it. You can't try to be good. Because the devil will always find a way of, of discouraging you. And the devil's main aim is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus wants you to have life and have it more abundantly. That's why he's offering you this free gift of salvation. So that the guilt and worries that the devil has placed in you will completely be rubbed off by his precious blood. Felix, will you accept Jesus? as your personal Lord and Savior. Hmm. Yes. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me completely of all my sins. Hmm? I was doing those, those things when I was in darkness. I have come with a genuine heart that you will accept me. Thank you, Jesus. You are my Lord and Savior. Please, just accept me as I am. As a matter of fact, we should all be punished for our evil doings because the wages of sin is death. But Jesus has come to die for our sins on the cross of Calvary. Hmm? What he needs from us is to believe in him. Do you believe in him? I believe. I believe in him. I believe in him. I believe in him. I believe too. Oh, Jesus. 
Okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Please say these prayers after me. Tope, more people need to be like you. And more people need to know the truth. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. <sighs> Felix. 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 No, no, no. You wait, 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 wait. Eh? Wait. Felix. Doctor. Felix. Felix. What I'm trying to say is that Payo is now in police custody. Police what? Police custody? What for? A robbery. He was caught with some boys. I can't believe this. My own boy? He'll be checked to court tomorrow. What? <laughs> oh, God. Tyler, don't move that boy. I'm suspecting him. He will corrupt you. Tyler, I must warn you. The road you are moving has a destructive end. I know you sound too bully, I know. But your mother, I'm sure she doesn't even want this for you. Tyler, you are a child of destiny. You are a child of purpose. You must always remember this. You are 17 now, and this is three. At this stage of yours, the devil will always bring all sorts of temptations and obstructions to hinder you from reaching your goal and obtaining your sources. But you must always remember that you are a set apart child of God. Okay.
words But let your heart keep my commandments My son, forget not my words But receive it and let it walk in you to you all ends of days and long life long life and peace shall be your inheritance for all ends of days for all ends of days and long life and long life and peace, and peace shall be added on shall be added on to you be devolved by the lions and wolves of the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the next item on our agenda is the giving out of prizes to the best students. Then before we give out the prizes, I want to appreciate those that are on the high table, the principal, the chairman, and distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the staff, the parents present, and all the well-wishers, and especially the students. And I pray that the Lord will bless every one of you. Amen. Now I have the honor of inviting my honorable principal to come and give out the prizes to the best students. Let's give him a round of applause, everybody! Parents and the students, we thank God for how far He has helped us through this session. And this prize giving day, we are going to give prizes to deserving students who have performed excellently throughout the year. I have the honor to invite. Invite the best students in mathematics. Parents, let us clap our hands to our brilliant students who have been representing us ever since. Tope Akilolu.
had a terrible dream about you. In that dream, I saw you moving with some dangerously terrible looking boys. But they were all in blacks. Time is first. Come back home. The best students in geography are two students, and they are Larry Samuel <laughs> and Toto Akinolu. There's only one interpretation the Lord should do. Hmm. Are you? Who are your friends? Yes! In English language, we have two students also. They are Tope Akilolu and Lydia Omatola. Yes. Over our best students. Over our best students, uh, there are three students that have been representing us in this school and they've, they've won a lot of prizes for us. And they are Lydia Omotola, Tope Akilolu, and Larry Samuel. Parents and students, will you rise up in standing ovation now so that we will give our best overall student uh, the clapping ovation? And that is Tope Akilolu. Yes, you guys, for the year. Yes, you guys, for the year. Jesus, I have fallen short of your glory completely. I have backslidden, but forgive me all my sin and cleanse me of all my iniquities. Come into my heart and take away my deeds. And from now on, I'm yours forever. <sighs> For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. I spent ten years in the prison, and two years later, I was afflicted with a terrible sickness which affected me seriously. It is now twenty five years since I've been telling this story to the youth of this time. 
I know the Lord has forgiven me. But I have missed the will and the counsel of God for my life. I still thank the Lord for the grace he has given me to see this day. My young youth in the Lord. Love the Lord with all your heart. With all your mind and with all your spirit. Do not deviate from the counsel of God for your life. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Thank you for listening to the story of my life. Keep the fire burning. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who walks in the way of the Lord. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who obeys the Lord. Who walks in the way of the Lord? Yeah. 